I'm going to read to you streams of consciousness bullying posts that I sent to Dr. Garrett on February 26th, 2021. The first is my post. At Starbucks, I noticed my cup was filled with nitro cold brew, then poured out then when I arrived. They refilled it probably for freshness. This triggered me that I was being poisoned by the baristas. It's fear of bullies and contamination. They don't care that much about me. Post two, I'm hyper-focused on bullies contaminating me. After receiving my coffee, then leaving Starbucks, a barista walked out of the bathroom and said, Hi, Andrew. He's a friendly kid who probably likes me and doesn't want to lose his job. I started to fear he's a psychopath poisoning me. Post three, everywhere I go, I have an overwhelming, catastrophizing fear of bullies harming me. It's so intense that I don't want to leave the house. I'm going into New York City today for fun, and I almost feel like canceling and staying home. I fear I'm going to be targeted by criminals. I said post four. I have a sadistic bully monster persecutor ingrained in my mind. It's the kids from middle and high school. Yes, you could probably encounter bad people in the world, but I learned the world was much more scary and chaotic than it actually is. Most people are nice and the world can be fun. Post five, even my fear of hypodermic needles left by drug users contaminating me with HIV, then I'll have no friends for the rest of my life. It boils down to fear of sadistic monster persecutors from middle and high school bullying me. Think about it. It's the monster harming me. Post six, as frustrating as my parents can be, including my stepdad, and they were frustrating, they're not monsters who took sadistic pleasure in my suffering. Yes, it was hell being home all day long with them. They were miserable, but they weren't intentionally trying to harm me. Post seven, it's obvious my fear of the world, which was intentionally inflicted by bullies, led to social isolation in a daydream world, mental illness. Even if you want to blame genetics, there is no doubt I was injured by bullies. It's like walking with a limp after injuring your leg. Post eight, if you really think about it, my mother is not to blame. She had a son who became very sick because he was getting severely bullied in school, and she did the best she could, all things considered. She's not perfect, but she loves and wants the best for me. And this is Dr. Garrett's reply on February 26th, 2021. Andrew, this is an excellent post. Clear, articulate, moving, true. Frame this one. Keep it for the permanent collection. Hold on to what you have written and try not to backslide into Mother is Satan, Hitler daydream. The bullies are the ones who intended to hurt you. Dr. G.